The same spirit, the same message, but they said no. So that you go for evangelism and people are resisting what you are preaching doesn't mean you are a bad person. It is part of what goes with the preaching of the gospel. Look at it in the apostles. Look at it with Jesus. He was resisted. It's not everybody that accepted Jesus. They took counsel to slay him. They resisted the gospel. So if you are being resisted, it's not because you are a bad person. It's just part what goes with the message. Are you still in the building? It is what goes with the message. Look at Mark 16, 15 and see what Jesus said. Mark 16, 15. Mark 16, 15. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Next verse. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. That means there is a he that will not believe. That means there is a he that will not believe. So because people rejected that message, doesn't mean you should change what you are saying. Okay, they resisted the message of Christ. Let me add entertainment. Let me add comedy. Let me look for food and give them to eat. Maybe they will change their mind. No. You stay with the message and you stay with the method. You don't change it because the people resisted it. You maintain a consistency in the preaching of the truth of the gospel. Truth never changes. Truth is consistent. You don't change the message and call it an appeal. No. We don't have to make the message appealing. It has pleased God that through the foolishness of preaching to save. And if it is resisted, we continue to preach it. Oh, we continue to preach it. We don't try to make it appealing. We don't try to make it attractive. No. It will not be attractive. There is no attraction about it. It's a foolish message. It's foolish. It looks foolish to a man that is not saved. But to us that are saved, it is the power of God. I thought somebody would shout hallelujah. I thought somebody would shout hallelujah. You see, so don't change the message. The message is not an imposition. It's a persuasion by God. It's not an imposition. It's a persuasion by God with his own words by his spirit. It's a persuasion by God with his own words and by 